hi hello guys thanks for liking my previous video and commenting on it and sharing it and i'm really grateful for all the love which you have given me so in this video blog i'll be talking about uh, data science what is business analytics uh, why is it important and how this business analytics has grown in last one decade so before starting to that i'll try to put out some facts here so that uh, i can get your attention why this is important so the first thing is there are like 2.5 quintillion bytes of data we are generating each day and what is quintillion bytes so this is a prox this much gb you know uber uber uh, you all know about uber uber uh, has 45000 some 780 odds request per minute around the globe in the same way twitter we tweet around uh, 456000 tweets per minute and google which we all know we are having some 3.6 million searches per minute so why this is important first thing is why i'm telling you because i want to tell you that we are generating data not in a small number but in a number that is gigantic and uh, why this is important to us because we are somewhere being manipulated by this data we are using this data and we can generate things with this data uh, i'll recommend you to watch a movie named as eagle eye i have provided that link in the description box it will tell you about how this data intelligence can change your life uh, don't go with the message of the movie because uh, that has shown a quite abrupt and negative image of data science but on the positive contrary, I just want you to know how this data science can be used and how people are using it around the globe. So the thing is, uh, why suddenly this has been so important in our country or across the globe? I'll tell you why. I'll show you a table. Just look at the value of internet users. It is 4.2 billion out of 7.6 billion people. And it has grown in last 18 years only. Just look at the growth percentage. It's massive and this shows the potential of this market and why the need of business analytics and data science is there. If you want to switch your field to business analyst, data scientist domain, what are the things which you require? So first thing is there are three profiles available that is business analyst and data scientist and machine learning engineer. Say machine learning is a separate part because right now most of the companies are hiring machine learning engineer as a subset of business analyst profile or data scientist profile and the work is quite similar in a way so now i'll be showing you what are the different profiles available with uh, available with you to join so this is uh, something like if you are going to uh, if, if if you see something like this data driven decision makers Functional Analyst, Business Intelligence Engineer, Data Analyst, Business Analyst, Data Architect, uh, Data Engineer and Data Scientist and Advanced Analyst. And on the left side we are having few skills which you will require to get into this domain. So there are Functional Knowledge, Problem Solving Framework, Data Visualization, Data Governance, Data Engineering, Data Management, Statistical Tool and Programming analytical approach and machine learning and deep learning things so what i am trying to say is that uh, the basic thing is you need to have a strong mathematical concept because there will be too much statistics involved and too much data will be there you have to do various calculation and after that you need to know how to use some statistical tools like there is r like there is sas so you need to have basic foundation uh, knowledge about these courses Apart from that, you have to have knowledge in some data management things also. Database management courses also you have to do so that uh, you can make your profile better. And uh, after that, the final stage is data visualization. Uh, so uh, what I know is that there is a tabulu uh, in which people work uh, for this data visualization thing and you can learn it. There are various sources available out there where you can learn this courses in a few nominal charges i think they charge you around uh, uh, 3000 4000 to 20000 25000 
so i have provided link of uh, cloudera udemy and advisor these are three these are three best known sources i think right now available where you can uh, gain certification and uh, apart from that uh, what i want to tell you is that you need to have your hand on practice on few projects now how you can get projects uh, these courses have some uh, predetermined project which you have to do to gain certification after that you can approach few company for the unpaid or paid internship where you can take few project and work on it after that you can apply to different uh, job vacancies or posts available out there in these companies so i have also given link of some 10 companies out there these are the 10 top 10 companies uh, the top 10 analytics company in india right now and uh, as i said there are around 600 plus companies who are working in this domain and uh, they are offering a good uh, good package of around 5.5 lakh to 21 lakh 21 lakhs uh, per annum which is quite good uh, depending on your experience depending upon your skills they are offering it so this is the easiest way and uh, i think uh, the most of the engineers right now are preferring these jobs because there are a lot of vacancies out there and uh, you can get a job here quite easily and you can excel in this field because you need a few things which you have to learn like r sas tableau uh, few sql few data management tmango or something like that thing is there you have to learn and then you can land a job here and uh, uh, as I want to quote, uh, there is data data scientist is uh, known as the sexiest job in 21st century. But uh, there is a caution involved. Don't just follow this advice that you have to get a data scientist or business analyst job because the thing is not easy. These skills are not easy. You need to generate new things every day. You need to improvise yourself. You need to improve yourself. Then only you can sustain and survive in this field because. Uh, I want to share you a fact that in USA there are colleges which are having batch size of around 400 500 people in a single batch and they are learning this uh, business analytics or data scientist course so there is lot of competition out there with the people having more experience and more knowledge so my best suggestion is that uh, you first evaluate yourself whether you actually serve you, whether you can actually survive in this environment or not and then only you decide whether you want to pursue jobs here or not so this is all which you required to get a job here apart from that try to work on different projects because that will help you in a long run and uh, you'll getting a good salary out there because there are plenty full of jobs but again caution please don't follow this blindly because you need to understand what you are and what you want to do just don't follow it that this is the sexiest job available so i'll go there no because i know many people who are quite frustrated with this job and uh, because uh, it requires eight hours of sitting eight hours of data and crunch number crunching and many other things so my advice is don't just follow anything blindly uh, evaluate yourself and see whether you want to go into this profile or not whether you want to pursue this or not and if you want to do if you want to go into business analyst or data scientist profile then here are the tools available with you here are the things which you have to read just start today